We do. I have gotten to spend the last four days at the Rhodes Wrestling Academy. I have been. I was honored and privileged to lend my voice, my limited vocal talents, to their first ever showcase, and to tell us more about it on the Vaqueros Cafe and Cantina Hotline. The owner, the chief bottle washer there at the Rhodes Wrestling Academy, and one hell of a pro wrestler himself. 30 plus years in the business and now big time all elite wrestling star. He is the natural Dustin Rose. What's up, B? Hey, Stewie, man. Did you just call me the chief ball washer? <laughs> <laughs> yes, owner, head, and chief bottle washer. I saw you wash Damn, at least I, a couple I cups. I like that. I love that. Yeah. Oh. You know, it's we, we I try to I try to mix it up a little bit. How are you doing, buddy? I'm 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 still floating on I'm still floating on cloud nine after the last several <clears throat> days. I yeah. am so ready to see this showcase. You tell me though, how are you doing? Because you just got to watch your kids, your twelve students, put on wrestling matches, learning what they have learned. Under your tutelage and others, tell me what you're feeling right now. I feel pretty proud, man. Pretty proud and pumped. Um, we had a vision to put, put this on for the kids because they really, really worked hard for it. And, um, you know, I put it together and I had my little first directorial debut. And it's a lot of fun, man, behind the scenes doing that stuff. But dead gum, it is a lot of work. And. <laughs> I'm glad that we split it up over three days because one day, you know, I didn't want to make it like AEW television where we just shoot all day. You know, I would rather focus on the two matches a day and just kind of pick them apart and just go through the the placements of things and, and what we're saying and what we're playing and how to walk, how to talk, and just really try to perfect their television craft for them so they get a, get a sense of, you know, being on television instead of like an independent wrestling show, because I'm training them to be on TV and it is a different ball game than the independent scene out there. You know, television is, it's crazy. HD television, man. If you, if you're fat, it shows. If you're, if you're skinny, <laughs> it shows. They show everything. It is alive and in color, man. And it's just, it's there for you. If you utilize it properly, if you know where your cameras are, if you know where, you know, the production team are, every every aspect of it. And it's, there's a lot that goes into it that uh, I just realized, you know, myself, because I was doing actually doing the other part of it. And, but getting these kids ready, man, I think I think they were about as ready as they can be for 10 weeks in into a 12 week camp. And I'm very proud of them. They've worked hard for it. I expect that when the finished product, when we play it this week, it's going to be pretty good, man. It's going to be pretty good. It's not by far not perfect, but it is something that they can look look at and have a goal and see what they did wrong, uh, see what they need to improve, and you know they're off to the races. I mean, they got to get out and spread their wings. And I really appreciate you coming and stopping by and just lending your voice, like you said, because there's n nobody else I'd want to do that. And, you know, Andrew, with his magical eye and talent for camera work and things like that, and me and the wife, and, you know, we had Rebel as a special guest referee for all the matches. It, right. Not it was Reba. Quite, quite a show. Not Reba, Rebel. Look, first of all, <clears throat> I will tell you, and I told you this uh, Monday night when we were together, uh, it was an absolute honor, pleasure. And, you know, you know as well as I do, you call, I'll drop everything and, and, and do whatever you need. It was so much fun, though, to watch what I got a kick out of. First of all, it was it was neat. We were using uh, some music that Mikey Ruckus, who does all the music for All Elite Wrestling, he lent right. some of his tracks. And so it was fun to pick out the tracks that each, each wrestler wanted to use for their entrance theme and see their eyes kind of light up when they hear that and they, they're, you know, attaching that to their name. That was yeah. neat. And then watching... What what I loved was after the match, you would go over, you'd coach them a little bit, and then, you know, you're there to encourage them and hug them and and congratulate them on the match, and and it was so neat to watch that part of the teaching method to teach these twelve young men and women 
about well, pro wrestling? Stu, I can tell you something that, you know, and I, I can only speak for myself, but I, I have just in the last couple of years found such a, just a deep passion and love for teaching and for the business. And it is, it is, that is the payoff for me to watch them succeed at something that I brought forth through them. And, you know, it's, it's worth it. I mean, I don't need money or payment for that. That, that was satisfaction guaranteed 100%. And it was very emotional. And we kind of, we kind of went through the, the excitement, the entertainment parts and, you know, the emotional parts and just, like a docu series, it was really cool the way way uh, Andrew was just filming everything, and hopefully we we can put that all together one day in the future. But seeing the kids succeed and seeing their happiness and seeing them cry and get emotional and sensitive about it because it was that's how much it, much it meant to them, and and you know it it played into me too. You know, I got emotional and I got sensitive and I was crying a little bit because I was happy for them, and that that is the ultimate thing I think what teachers feel today is when somebody succeeds in the classroom and, and they do such a great job. And you know, that, that is the, that's the payoff, man. It's, it's not, I'm not doing this for money. I'm, I'm doing this to genuinely teach them the, the, um, the craft that I know and that I was, that I was uh, brought up, you know, learning about the business. And I think I'm doing a good job. I mean, people teach different. People teach different ways. They have different styles. I think my style is pretty cool, and it's built for television because I've been around television my whole life. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I think that stands us out, that not too many people out there are teaching that. And I'm, I'm just – I'm proud. I'm uh, – God, what are the words? I'm just losing them right now. No, Very I- um, grateful. I'm grateful for the opportunity and that people want to come and learn from me and that, that I have friends like you and Andrew and Mikey Ruckus and, you know, just we throw everything into a, a show at the last minute, you know, in two weeks of uh, prepping with not a huge budget. And we just we're doing what we can to put it out on YouTube and get our content out there so that they can see the kids. And, you know, it's the future. That's what it that's what it boils down to. It's not about Dustin Rhodes anymore. It's It's time to pass it on although i still have a little left in the tank but granted it's it's about the youngsters right. these days now well and and what <laughs> i what i saw the last several days it's what i've seen backstage at AEW when you know you'll work with the girls and and the and the and the younger wrestlers with their matches and seeing them you know catch on what you're trying to trying to lend your wisdom to so it's it was really cool to see that. And, and to add to that, I was going to ask you, Dustin, how how interesting has it been? Because, I mean, obviously a legend, everybody knows you, and you're like everybody's favorite veteran now. I'm sure that you have tons of wrestlers like in AEW and even you know other independent people trying to ask you questions about what you think psychologically and other things about their career. How interesting was it, though, to start essentially from scratch with some of these students? And and kind of just have to show them like day one stuff as opposed to having these people that have been in the industry for a few years ask you questions that pertain to more of the inner workings of the industry. You know, it happened kind of happened overnight. I mean, first of all, I'm blessed that people are wanting to come up to me and ask me for advice and things like that. That that means a lot. And I think I got a good pretty good grip on the business and the heartbeat of the business and how to do things proper. Um, but this kind of happened pretty quickly. You know, I just, I remember at TV, I was talking to Rebel about it. And I was like, you know, I'm going to, I want to open up a wrestling school. Then the next week says, I'm going to open up a wrestling school. And then the week after that, my school's being built. <laughs> it was just like, really, you know, I said, you know, it's time. My dream, my other dream to be an actor, my other dream to be a teacher and own a wrestling school, it was time. So I bit the bullet, I jumped right in, I mapped out a plan for my 12 weeks, and so far, I mean, week to week to week has been perfect. I've kept it to a perfect schedule, 
and you know had to change a few things or pull back you know but getting caught back up and things like that it's worked out really well and they have learned the basics so here we are and now the real teaching starts you know but they got to go on so i got to get my new students in and and i think we had a hell of a first camp so i learned a lot of things of what to kind of pull back on and what to maybe advance in in my second camp so i'm going to utilize that but i think i did a really good job for it just being straight out of the shoot man we had this dream we're conquering this dream whether anybody's with us or not and i just hope that one day soon within a couple of years or something that i will be like world renowned you know the Rhodes wrestling academy will be sought after sought after from people all over you know just want to come and get trained by me while i'm still able to get in there because it's just me it's me and my wife yeah. you know i do the training she does she takes care of being the boss <laughs> and and all and keeping them in line you know and i just i don't trust anybody else to do or teach what i can teach them unless they're there every single day and i trust them with my life and it's just like that's hard to find i want to be hands-on with these kids they deserve that if that's what they're paying for right and your and your lovely wife terrell she does such a wonderful job of of you know running herd on on everything from you know making sure the you know everything is lined out to making sure that the you know the rings are clean and uh the kids have what they need and it's just it, like you said just you you and your wife and then you know, get privileged enough. Myself, Andrew Sanchez, who's you know fit videographer at KVU, who, who shot who shot all the the showcase and is putting it together putting it together as we speak. Uh, yep. I did see. I will say, I did see a like a smidge clip of the yep. intro, and it looked. Oh man, I, I'm I'm excited just for the intro. I mean, can can I say like uh? I mean, just because you showed the clip, and it was I like it was, real, it was real slim. I mean, you looked good at the beginning. I'm telling you, I was like, I see where the acting, like, I see where it all came together right there when you were in front of the camera. Um, yeah. But two things: one, if yeah. you're showing the power slam, definitely want to learn it from you. That is for sure. And two, yeah. I'm so excited for you because you can just tell in your voice that you are so passionate about the teaching aspect of it now. And it's just, I'm really happy that you get to share that excitement with other people. Thank you, man. And I appreciate your kind words. I do Justin very much. Um, 32 years. I've learned how to stand in front of a camera and there's times where I want to do a retake or something like that, but I don't think anymore. It's just, it comes out a lot easier than, you know, when you're young and I try to help these kids in promo class and, you can see where they're struggling or where they're nervous because they're in front of people and things. And that's daunting to kids. It's daunting. To, it was daunting to me up until a few years ago to have public speaking in front of somebody. It was like, holy crap, no, I'm scared to death to do that. But I can get out there in the middle of a ring in front of thousands of people in the world and cut a promo. It's different when you are sitting in a classroom or something and you're just talking to these people because I'm, I'm not a big talker. I don't like to talk. You know, I just, I like to, but it, it became easy. It, it's just, it's just really easy to me now. And I know I'm not trying to sound like a, a pompous ass or anything, but I was taught well and I've learned and I've watched and I've, you know, taken bits and pieces from just about everybody, you know, and just kind of blazed my own path here and, you know, had ups and downs and, climbed over mountains and fell a few times. But, you know, right now I, I think, and it, it, you know, it, if I was like this 10, 15 years ago, my God, I'd be on top of the world. And, but I have no regrets, you know, and, and those, those are my teachers. And here I am today at 51, having the time of my life in the twilight of my career, you know, just a couple, two, three more years before I hang it up. But right now, man, AEW, and my wrestling academy is just, I'm having a lot of fun. It's exhausting, but it's fun as shit. I love it. I Believe me, I understand completely. Um, I would come home and it, tired, but I'd be, it'd be hard for me to go to sleep because I was so amped up after, you know, doing, you know, the taping, taping the matches and everything. I was like, 
it was so much fun to watch the whole process and to see see the passion that you had watching Andrew Andrew Sanchez or the videographer who had yeah. dreamed of being you know doing production for wrestling for so long and Monday night I mean we're 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 wrapping up we're packing things up and he started to tear up and and you came yeah. over and and congratulated him and thanked him and I know that that meant the world to him it always means the world to me when you involve me and I couldn't I couldn't be happier to to be a part of it so I uh, it's well Stu I'm just grateful that I've met you and that you kind of come into my life and we're we've become pretty damn good friends and. You know, that, and it goes likewise for you if you need me, even though today I kind of failed you when I was late on the call. <laughs> it's okay. Because I forgot. No, I mean, you, I, I'll That's be okay. There. You were taking care of Terrell, and that, that, that trumps everything. So, you know, you take care of that lovely wife. So let's talk a little AEW real quick. First of all, um, so as this is airing oh, on the horn, we are about to see the main event. First time that the women will main event AEW Dynamite. And it's an unsanctioned match, a lights out match on top of that with Britt Baker and Thunder Rosa. And we're going to talk to Thunder Rosa here in just a bit. But I know you have, you know, that's one of your key things backstage at AEW. You, you help, you know, agent the, the women's matches and train them and, and get them up to speed. So how proud are you to see Britt Baker and Thunder Rosa main event AEW Dynamite this week? Okay, it's 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 very extra special to me because I'm a big fan of women's wrestling, and I've always loved. I love wrestling, but I, I'm just I'm a big fan of women's wrestling because, to me, they they are just now getting their just due. You know, you had the WWE's women's evolution, and now we're trying to get there and build this this young division in AEW, and it's like I'm around them all the time i'm on the phone with them all the time um they they cry on my shoulder they you know ask questions i am their mentor i'm like their dad i'm like but i'm I'm like the whole package and i love that about this that these guys are listening to me when we have our training sessions and when we do our match they listen to me and they are learning and they are excelling at it I don't crutch them. I want them to be creative in their move sets and things like that. But every once in a while, I have to step in and say, okay, that's all great. But, you know, what story are we trying to tell here? And let's try to make this make sense. And let's put this move here. And that's where I, that's where I excel. And that's where they put their trust in me. And I lead them because they know I'm not going to lead them down a, a, a wrong path. And, you know, if they just do it like I, like I, you know, explain to them that they're going to be great and they're doing it and they're excelling and now it's starting to become second nature to them and they're they're a lot easier with their transitionings and things and our women's division has grown significantly over the the past several months and they're starting to get their just you know just do right now and you were fixing to see it we have two matches and this is the first time ever two matches on AEW Dynamite this week coming up, you know, you got Jade yeah. who is, is going to make an appearance. And then you have the women's main event. I mean, the main event, not just two matches, but you know, the women's main event on dynamite. I hope to hell we pull a huge number and I hope it just shows, you know, the, every dude out there that, that hates women's wrestling or whatever, you know, that these girls can go, man, these girls can kick some ass. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to tell you just a little secret because the match that th- these two are going to have is off the charts. It's off the charts. It is standing ovation shit. It is really, it's going to be fun to see the reactions from the fans and television and, you know, worldwide recognition that they're going to receive from this. Cause it, it was, uh, it's pretty awesome. I'm very, very proud of them. Very happy and excited for them. And, you know, it, it couldn't happen to, to a two, you know, better two people, Thunder Rose and Britt Baker and Rebel. And Rebel. Absolutely. We love we love Rebel. And yeah, I, I don't doubt that for a second. That match is going to be an absolute you know instant classic. So speaking of instant classics, yeah. uh you and I have not talked since we've had two I would say two contemporaries 
joining the AEW ranks, Paul right. White and Christian Cage. Yeah. Uh, yeah so give me your thoughts on on seeing two guys that you've you've rolled around the ring a few to- few thousand times with. Yeah, you know, when they got there, you know, looking around backstage, you see Kristen, you see Jericho, you see Big Show, you see me, you see Mox, you see Cody, you know, those few individuals. And it's like, this this feels like old times. It feels feels good. Kristen coming in, man, is, is a huge, huge positive for any wrestling company. And he's coming in. His mind is pretty sharp. It's as sharp as a tack. And he knows his shit about wrestling, and that is a that is a huge welcome to AEW. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome to watch him work and watch him, you know, school some of these kids. And it it, it is because I've been in the ring with him on numerous occasions, and just you know, he comes up with some stuff that is beyond me, and a very incredible young man that he is, and just has done some great work. And Paul. Big Paul White, man, coming in to do some commentary and things with Tony Schiavone on our new show, AEW Dark Elevation. Very cool. He lends a new voice. He lends uh, experience. He wants to help the young kids out as much as possible. I saw him the other day at TV uh, teaching a couple of the bigger guys there, the, the younger kids that are just now getting a chance. And, you know, they, all these kids need to listen to these two guys. They need to listen to the Jerichos, me and Christian, and Paul White and Cody and all these guys, man, because we've been there and we know. We know how to adapt over the years and in and out of each decade, you know, when the business changes so drastically, we've been through those changes and we know. And it's a, it, it is really good to see both of them here with us. I, I couldn't agree more. I think it's fantastic. I did catch, I caught some of of uh, elevation. Paul White is an absolute natural behind the microphone. Uh, you know, I mean, when you do it with Tony Schiavone, though, who's who has been among the best voices in wrestling for thirty plus years. You know, it's it's you know, it you got that, and then Paul White he adds. He's got kind of that almost a sports type feel to to commentary and and talking about the matches on elevation, mentioning you know you know like Jungle Boy had wrestled in something like thirty eight matches or something like that, and just incredible. I mean, I I, I really enjoyed listening to him. Uh, well, I, you know, Paul is is uh, this is a learning process for him too. You know what I yeah. mean? But if you're out there. And he knows it. He said it to me a couple of times after the first two tapings we've done. He said, I can get better at this. But, I mean, when you're out there with Tony Schiavone, who can just guide and do things, you know, and as you're learning on the go, it helps. And it he's going to do just fine. Oh, he is. I, I have no doubt in my mind. And uh, those two are going to make for a great duo on Elevation, just as, you know, it's seemingly every every show, whether it's Dark, Dynamite, Elevation, uh, the commentary is top notch. Uh, I I get to learn, and I'm I'm still learning, and and you know I'll take some tips off of them and use them in, in when I do commentary. So I look forward to it, and uh, it'll be great to see AEW Dark Elevation Monday nights. I think it's 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central on YouTube, and then of course AEW Dynamite Wednesday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central on TNT. Don't. You know, stay tuned for that that Thunder Rosa Britt Baker match. It's gonna be, it's gonna be one heck of a match. Can we get so? Yeah, AEW Dark Elevations on Mondays. Dark is on Tuesdays, and then Dynamite Wednesday. There you go. I was gonna yeah. ask. You think we can get like you know how they do being the elite? I think we need a show with like you and Paul together. Yeah. And kind of you guys just kind of going backstage amongst each other and stuff like that, just because yeah. you guys have so much knowledge. Yeah, it'll nah. be all right, I guess. <laughs> I'd rather do something with one of the younger kids. Yeah, there like who? I don't know, Fuego maybe. Oh yeah, Fuego's a funny That'll guy. Be a good one. Sammy Guevara. I mean, somebody up and coming. You know, that's yeah. that's fresh in the business and. You know, some some kind of skit, but he has his. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. You know, the backstage stuff. Uh, 
every time they ask me, I get I get a smile because it's kind of <laughs> cool to be a part of their little segments and I get vlogs that. and what have you. I get that. And and Fuego does so it didn't come across, you know, because he's he wears a mask. But he's got he's got a hell of a personality. Oh yeah, we've worked with him before on on different cards. Um, so I yeah I get that you know that would be cool to see though now that you mention it. <laughs> it, it he, he's be. an Oklahoma boy. He is, which yeah. is the only knock against him, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean we like Jake Hager. Well, kind of. Right. Uh, you you told me once not to talk to him, but he we still talk. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, catch the Rhodes Wrestling Academy Showcase this Saturday. What time on YouTube, Dustin? Uh, 8, 7 Central. 8 p.m. Eastern, 7, 7 p.m. Central on the Rhodes Wrestling Academy YouTube channel. If you want to find out more about Rhodes Wrestling Academy, go to RhodesWrestlingAcademy.com. You can see what the what the facility looks like. There's even an application. If, if you think you've got what it takes to learn uh, under Dustin Rhodes, they've got the application is there, but you can check out some of the pictures and and check out that showcase. It's it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a it's a proud moment for me to be a part of it. And uh, again, Dustin, it I I can't thank you enough for letting me be a part of it. Um, I hope we get to do more of them in the in the weeks and months to come. I it's it was so much fun. We might just have to have you and Justin come together next time. It was an honor to be in your presence. Well, the the honor is shared, my friend. The honor is shared. He is the Can natural you? Dustin <laughs> Rhodes. Catch him on Twitter, at Dustin Rhodes. D, take care of that yep. beautiful wife. We'll talk again soon. All right, pal. Y'all take care. See you, Justin. Thank you. <laughs>